Triumph and Tragedies of Bess Derry, 1939 to 1966, by Mariah Long. Bess Derry, which was established in 1939 by Harvey Best and his son Delbert Best, was located in Blurth County, northeast of Mankato, Minnesota. The dairy had not even been a reality until the depression was in full swing. Delbert was quoted in the Valley News newspaper saying, I was married and found myself shopping for a good profitable job. Since there was none to be had, we decided to create our own work. And so the dairy was born. In the beginning, the dairy housed the cows in a stanchion barn. At first, the farm had only golden Guernsey cows. The milk was pasteurized and bottled right on the farm and sold as golden Guernsey milk. The milk sold for 10 cents a quart. As their business grew, Best Dairy bought the Indian Lake Dairy Herd from Ann Best's dad, Peter Thompson, and the Charles Burke Dairy Herd. Delbert started his business with only one delivery truck. As the dairy's popularity grew, the number of customers grew. This meant two more delivery trucks and a need to buy raw milk from many farmers in the area to pasteurize and bottle. Eventually, they needed even more delivery trucks. Best Dairy gave calendars to customers at the start of every new year with their milk delivery and rollers and pencils to the school children. Best Dairy had both retail house-to-house -house deliveries as well as wholesale deliveries to stores, hospitals, schools, and the college. Success seemed endless for the best until tragedy struck. It was April 1952. A fire started at the south end of the dairy barn which stored 15 tons of hay. It swept through the entire hay mow and down the walls. The entire building burned to the ground in less than a half an hour. Fortunately, most of the herd were already in a pasture near the farm. The two employees that saw the fire saved the five cattle still left in the barn. All the cattle had to be driven on foot to a neighbor's barn where milking could continue until a new barn could be built. This setback affected the milk production. Harvey, Delbert, and Ann decided to build a more modern loose housing barn that included a five-stall surge milking parlor. Milo Cochran of Mapleton, Minnesota built the barn. This parlor milking system made milking cows much easier. Cows came from the loose housing barn to be milked five at a time. They were fed ground feed while they were being milked to increase their intake of feed. A person walked from one cow to the next, cleaning their udders and attaching the milk machine. The milk was piped into the milking room, never being exposed to the air. This was far easier and cleaner than the early days of carrying heavy buckets of milk. This new barn was a dairyman's dream. This setup was cause for big news and celebration. A barn dance was held in July 1952, right before the cattle came back home. When an open house was held, the best family had 7,000 guests. They consumed 70 gallons of free chocolate milk and orange drink. Evidently, the visitors liked what they saw. For the next week, their milk business leaped. Two extra routes had to be started in Mankato. More than 250 customers were added, and they bought an additional 400 to 600 quarts of milk. Folks, today we're at the Best Dairy Open House, just uh, north of Mankato here, a couple of miles on 169. It's a beautiful day, and folks have been coming and going steady since 1 o'clock this afternoon. Now we're going to talk to Del Best, uh, the son who's taken over probably more physical uh, end of the business. And uh, uh, of course, we talked to Del the other day, and you probably heard him last night on the air. But uh, Del, what do you think about uh, the success of your open house and vast people here? Jim, uh, I think it's 100% uh, success. Uh, uh, anything you'd like to say to the folks uh, here at this time, uh, Del, about uh, the milk season parlor? Well, not the way that if they haven't seen the Hotter today that they're invited to come out any time that they so desire. We milk at 5 o'clock in the evening and we're here in the viewing room. Best Dairy welcomes you. We carry a complete line of dairy products for delivery to your door, phone 6100. And now we're going to talk to another fellow, 
uh, Ernest Smith from the Department of Agriculture and an inspector in the Dairy and Food Division down in Iowa. This is a marvelous setup for milking cows and for dairying. And to bottle this product and to get it out to the people is the best that I have seen in a long while. We have some very nice setups in Iowa, but I haven't seen any as big as this one is at Mr. Best's farm here today. Many people put congratulation ads in the newspaper when the barn was completed. Hubbard Milling Company of Mankato, Minnesota said, Congratulations to the Best family. We are happy to have one of the most modern and efficient dairy plants of the country located right here in our own community. In the years following the open house, many people came to tour the dairy. Mankato area, sesquicentennial. Commemorate the past, celebrate today. If you grew up or went to school in the Mankato area, you probably took a field trip to Best Dairy to tour the dairy farm and view the milking process. It wasn't just a local attraction, as visitors came from every state and many foreign countries. And at the end of every tour, you were treated to a carton of milk, chocolate, or white. Best Dairy hosted foreign exchange persons from Chile, Belgium, Japan, Africa, and Indonesia who were interested in the modern U.S. dairy farms. Holstein cattle were added to the herd when people became worried about their diet. Holstein milk was lower in fat. A new pole barn is built to hold 10,000 bales of hay for the cows to eat in the winter. They could eat on both sides of this barn. A bunker silo was used to feed silage in the loose housing area. The milk cows were kept separate from the dry cows by a fence. Both could move around at will. This aerial view shows the cows in a pasture in the summer. The dairy plant on the farm was very modern. All equipment was stainless steel. Sanitation was very important. The milk was cooled in a bulk tank and processed in the morning. It was all pasteurized. It was heated to 140 degrees for 30 minutes, then cooled and bottled in glass bottles that would be returned, washed, and refilled. Best Dairy sold regular milk, homogenized milk, chocolate milk, skim milk, and buttermilk. They bottled 3,500 quarts, or almost 900 gallons of milk a day. Coupon books were used by the homeowners and order pads by the wholesale accounts. Ads were placed in the local papers to encourage people to buy Best Milk. After all, Best Milk is the best. The price lists were given out as the prices changed. After 45 years of work with dairy cattle, Dell sold his herd of 131 Holsteins April 6, 1963 as the largest dispersal sale in this section of the Midwest. The workload became too great. Managing the huge dairy herd and a 440-acre general farming operation was just too much. Dalbert was quoted in the Mankato Free Press March 21st 1963 saying, the small dairy cannot compete with business and industry for labor on wages and hours, and that it is increasingly difficult to hire and keep good help. Pictured here is the last cow and calf before the sale. Although there were no more cows on the farm, the best bought raw milk from area farmers to continue bottling milk for their customers. Eventually, they began handling milk in paper cartons from Maple Island Dairy in Stillwater, Minnesota. Those paper cartons still use the Best Dairy name. In 1966, Best Dairy's remaining business was sold to Oak Grove Dairy of Norwood, Young America. Best Dairy had been the trade name for the dairy for 27 years. Four Best employees continued their delivery routes with the Oak Grove Company. Dell and Ann Best were involved in civic organizations and many farm groups working for better prices for dairy farmers. Dell was awarded the Distinguished Service Award for his civic service. If you'd like to know more about Best Dairy, visit the Blue Earth County Historical Society located in Mankato, Minnesota.